Tell me, does every point in a room have a temperature? Yes? Can you find some point in a room that doesn't have temperature? Louder? Louder? Good. Okay. So that means that temperature is a scalar field. Now, how would you describe temperature? What is temperature? Uh, no, and not a physical definition. Temperature, a scalar, a vector, or something else? Anyone? Louder. Good. Temperature is a scalar. It's just a number, like 37 degrees Celsius. That feels like the temperature in this room right now. So, uh, every point in a room has temperature, and temperature is just a number. So a scalar field is just something which at every point assigns a number. You, do you understand? Okay. So now, let's say in this relatively hot room, I take a tiny step from here right over to here. This is what we call a differential step. Here over to here. It's a very small step. And it gets even smaller as you go on. Does anybody in here know what a derivative is? Louder? No? Yes? Does anybody know what a derivative is? Anyone? No. I'm going to guess that's a no. So? So, so can you repeat that now? Does anybody here know what a derivative is? Yes or no? I'm sorry, uh, I don't know. Okay, so here's what a derivative is. Let's say we have a function, yes? So now in that function, what we're going to do is we're going to take one point right over here and then another point right over here. Now, let's say this is x, and this is x plus h, and this is f of x. Then the y-coordinate here is going to be f of x, and the y-coordinate here is going to be f of x plus h. So then, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a secant line between these two points, right? It's a line that goes through both of these points, and we're going to take the slope. Everybody here knows what the slope formula is, right? Okay, so can you guys tell me what's the slope of this red line? Okay, let's let's start from this. What is the slope? Uh, what is the slope formula? Is that, is that mm -hmm. Okay, so. That means it's just going to be the change in y divided by the change in x, right? Good. So then the initial y value is f of x. The final y value is, anyone have an idea? Louder. Good. And we divide that by the difference between the final, which is x plus h, and what's the initial? Louder. Good. So then these two just cancel out, and we're left with what we call a derivative. But this isn't a derivative quite yet, because h is a number. But what we're going to do is this number is going to get closer and closer to a certain point as h becomes closer and closer to zero. So in the same way, we're going to, instead of taking a little step, specifically in the x direction, as you can see we did here, we're going to take a little step in any direction we want. Like, let's say I choose that direction, right over there. I'm going to take a step in that direction and then go back here. I can feel the temperature here, and then I can feel the temperature here. It's a very small change. So what we're going to do is we're going to take f of let's say we have the initial coordinates plus our little differential vector dv minus the initial coordinates divided by that little change dv and the thing is the direction of that vector is going to stay the same
but the magnitude is going to go from a large step like this to a very small step to an even smaller step, and eventually it's going to approach zero, just like eight. Hopefully I haven't lost anybody. So 